Okay, so here's the overview of uh, what we discussed tonight on the call. And the other day I posted a video, watch it. It's in. Uh, it's a live I did about um, four tips about good enough instead of perfect. Uh, I let go of food rules, use hunger as a guide. This is about that. Um, I owned my choices. And four, stop rationalizing about food. So how do we eat to 80% full and why it matters? If there's one thing that supports weight loss, this is it. And learn why eating to a fullness level about 80% is a ninja move. And this is eight steps to making it a habit. Because this is all about habits. Everything you do in life is habits. And we do them a lot of time on autopilot without realizing it. So you still get to be satisfied at meals. But over time, you likely end up in a calorie deficit, which is what we're looking for to lose weight. Because without that, no matter how you disguise it, we, we can't lose weight. Uh, why eat this way? Leads to gradual, sustainable fat loss. Connects your true nutrition needs, which is really important about you, which are naturally customized to your body and activity level. Improves appetite, regulation due to slow and mindful eating. Good digestion. Minimizes dependence on external rules, like the calories or diet plans. Can help you enjoy more food um, and eat even more. Increases body awareness, helps you regulate stress hormones and emotions, and builds your tolerance for slight discomfort because you want to be a little bit hungry. It's like with the fitness, um, you want to be out of your comfort zone for your fitness to actually get better. So step one is start with a slightly smaller portion. It's one I always practice. Um, smaller plate will work. Put your, make, put your meal on a smaller plate because it makes uh, easier and moderate portions. Um, or you can just load the less onto the plate prioritize veggies and protein because this is the important one so obviously a lot of broccoli has got not like calories and lots of vitamins and it will fill you up and obviously protein does three things stops you getting hungry stops you losing muscle mass i.e get tone and it keeps you full up for longer and you burn more calories by eating protein by the way as well if you're eating out try ordering a smaller size than normal i do this it really works really well number two tune into how your body feels Learning what 80% feels like will require paying close attention to your body throughout the meal. It's like mindfulness. You've got to be conscious. So before you take your first bite, make note of your baseline. Take a deep breath. Focus on your ab abdomen. Scan your attention over the whole body. See how it feels. Notice it. Feel it. Same with alcohol. Big one with alcohol. I used to drink super fast. Now I sip and look at my beer and sip and look at my beer again. That's how I do it. Uh, tip three, eat slowly. It takes your brain 20 minutes to actually realize had enough food. So you've got to slow down um, and eat slowly. Chew your food. Put your fork down. It takes time for your gastrointestinal tract to tra signal your brain to say you've had enough. And that's 20 minutes normally. So you eat. It's still going to take 20 minutes for the body to say, hey, actually, you've had enough food. Four, check in throughout the meal. Take a bite. Chew. Swallow. Stop. Take a breath, put your fork down. How do you feel? Pause to notice. Same applies to alcohol. Um, we've got a scale here, 0 to 100%. We're looking for 80%. You feel energized. You feel like you go for a walk. You have some ice cream, gelato, um, but also you don't need one. And then obviously you feel really comfortable. You've eaten too much. If you've got fuel in the tank, but you don't feel super satisfied, then you still need to be a bit more. Five, when you feel you're about 80% full, stop eating. Getting to exactly 80% is not important. Just estimate, okay? Don't be, like I say, um, good enough is okay. It's better than perfect. So it doesn't have to be 79.99% full. You just kind of like estimate it. Any leftover food, put it away, cover it up, uh, give it to the dog, uh, and then sit and breathe and notice any feelings that come up. Six, do something physical. So after a meal, gentle activity. Don't go for a run. Don't do a workout. Just go for a walk, breathe, do some gardening, stretching, play with the dog, play with the kids, um, but nothing intense. You want to do an intense workout, you need a good hour and a half after a full meal. Seven, like we do with the journaling, super, super important. Take notes about what you ate and what it felt like because it makes you become conscious and mindful and aware of this. Um, if you ever did it, no sweat. You've got data. Like I said, if you look at a lot of these, uh, Mark Zuckerberg from Facebook or Elon Musk from Tesla, when they talk, there's no emotion. It's all about data. That's what we're looking for. That's why I track your numbers, your weight. It's just data I'm looking for. 
So don't get too emotionally attached to it, but it will give you data. Same goes for over underdoing it. The worst thing that can happen now is you get hungry a little earlier than usual. Don't worry about it. What you ate, how you felt, make a note. Uh, number eight, repeat these steps as many times, as many meals as you possibly can for two weeks. And it's all about habits. So over time, you'll gather useful information about how your body and how foods make you feel, and then notice any patterns. How's that working for you? That's my favorite one, okay? Are you eating habits more aligned with your goals? Are you getting more or less comfortable, different sensation in your body? Does your food look or feel different? What about how clothes fit? What foods help you feel satisfied? Do some food, foods seem like you want to lose control? Just be aware of this. And it's like, and repeat it again and again and again. Because this is what we're looking for. 